Hey y'all, this is Octavius the Great coming through with another video on this lovely Wednesday. I'm on lovebscott.com and you see the title. Montana y'all claims Malik Beasley's parents made racist remarks on their mixed race son. All right, y'all. If y'all don't know know who these two people are, Malik is a is a guy who basically supposedly is separated from his wife, which is Montana, and he got with Larsa Pimpin. It was a whole situation going on with that for a split second, but nobody cared for real, for real. That's why it didn't last long in the media. Uh, Larsa Pimpin uh, spoke out talking about, well, she was told they were separate. Uh, Montana and Malik were separated, separated, so it was no um, water off her back. So they try, um, Montana tried to make a big deal about this. The news media tried to make a big deal about it. And the story went away because nobody cared. So now, on uh, April 7th, we get a story about um, Malik's parents um, doing Asian hate against their grandchild. Now, here go my thing. When everything was said and done, as soon as you found out that your husband is out here going around with Scottie Pippen's ex-wife, or, yeah, ex-wife, whatever she is to him now, um, you could have came out with all them receipts around right then and there. Instead of now jumping on the trend of the Stop Asian Hate, you see how she trying to use that to um, sell this man's reputation. The man did it on his own by walking around with Larsa Pimpin, who everybody know is a is a bopper, but she's free to bop. Now, this is just like, you know why I'm not really feeling that stop the Asian hate? Because it's just another form to me of white supremacy. Why? Because they act, these Asians are acting like the white folk want to sit up here and lie, want to sit up here and use this to try to harm black people. For what reason? None. They're just trying to get closer to whiteness and it ain't going to work because you're always going to be yellow to them. Well, and this is another thing minorities need to understand. White people are going to see you for who you is. If you ain't white like them, they is not going to see you as nothing else. And when you hear that term, I don't see color, they are disrespectful. But guess what? That means you are erasing me because I am a color. I'm not gray. This ain't no colorblind situation. Even when you're colorblind, you can tell the skin tone of certain people in a way. It's just gray. It's a gray tone over your eyesight. Or you might not just see certain color like red or blue. But the colorblind stuff, miss me with that. That's disrespe disrespectful. So, I'll just read this a little bit. Let me see where I can find it. Makai I have been put through hell and the utmost embarrassment purposely and for no reason for so long and for too long. So she so she wrote on Tuesday, April 6th. Him and his parents and his team have tried so hard to make me out to be the bad guy. And everything I am not in the media just to defame me and my reputation to cover and project his own bad behavior onto me. I will continue to remain the woman I am and let the truth, um, truth reveal itself. She went on accusing Malik's parents of Asian hate, quote unquote, as she claimed that they have been making fun of her son's Asian heritage. The Instagram model said his parents often used the terms ramen noodle, Buddha, ching chang chong to refer to her son, to the point I had to tell my ex to tell his parents to stop because it made me feel uncomfortable. Now, now she wanna speak about this on April 6th when easily she could have spoke about this as soon as the nigga went off and cheated on her. But you see, these Asians gonna sit up here and use every damn thing they can. The ones that's racist, that is. I say, I ain't gonna say all Asians are racist, but you need to, uh, y'all Asians need to get up and step your ass up and get your kin folks together. And also, it was a paternity issue going on, and it been confirmed that um, Malik is the father of her child. But guess what? Who cares? You talking about people? Uh, they try to put dirt on your name in the media. Has anybody really listened to this story? Do anybody really care? They don't. Now this just came back out because we're in the season of Asian hate. Let's blame black people for bullshit. And now she coming out with this story. If you didn't see that one video on IG where this Asian man up there in Canada set up here, call the police on these black teenagers that lived, lived in that apartment complex and lied on them about them having the gun. When the police came, they kept questioning the Asian man about the gun and the bastard one said act like he don't understand English fully. And then when the cop realized that it was a waste of time, the cop walked off. I don't know what was the uh, consequences behind that, but I hope the little old Asian man gets some jail time behind that. So... That's all I wanted to share with y'all. Let me know what y'all think. As you see, um, 
The Asians are doing the white folk shit, sitting up here trying to set niggas up over over nothing. Over nothing. Yeah, they been doing it. Been doing it, and people just now uh, open their eyes to it. They been doing it. Don't let these Asian folks sit up here and try to play the white victim, because they what they're doing. They're trying to whiten up, and then they try to get extra Asian on you, act like they don't know English. Please, you been, many of y'all been here for over 50 years. Let's stop playing the game. And, and honestly, and honestly, even though people may not feel that way, if you got a situation going on and you feel like you're going to be in danger, either get away or beat that Asian ass. Because either way it goes, they gun, they gunning for us. We got enough people gunning for us. So y'all have a wonderful day. Like, share, comment. Um, go. Um, my name is Octavius Gray all across YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. So let me know what you think. Have a nice day. Bye.